So it's about to be 2022 and 2021 has been a crazy year so far. I started doing Roblox content at the end of April in 2021 and Southwest Florida is just such a great game. So in this video, we're going to be looking at the entire evolution of Southwest Florida. We are going way back to see the progress with updates, achievements, and just a whole lot more. But here is what I have to say real quick about 2021. Man, 2021 was such a fun year for me. I started doing Roblox content this year and that was the best decision of my life. And all I have to say is thank you to everyone that has supported the channel. But I honestly just really appreciate everyone that has supported me throughout this whole time. And I also really do appreciate the haters. So thank you to everybody that has showed support and hate. But now, let's go look at the entire evolution of Southwest Florida. May 28th, 2020. It all started with this one single message. And it's just a picture of it saying FL and the Southwest Florida map in the background. Not too special, but this was actually the start of the game we play to this day called Southwest Florida. As we can see here, Southwest Florida was created on May 28th. 2020 but now grab your popcorn sit back relax and let's get ready to watch the evolution of southwest florida well may 28th 2020 was not actually the exact release date of southwest florida because as we can see here july 10th was actually the day that southwest florida was going to be released for alpha testing which meant you would have to pay 70 to 100 robux to actually be able to just test southwest florida and if you guys are wondering joji i see these people with the alpha tag how did they get that this is how they got it they actually paid robux to test the game early when the game was still in alpha and then the next day, July 11th, 2020, Southwest Florida Alpha was fully released for anybody that had the Robux to pay for it and then play the game. And in that meantime, from May all the way to July, the game was actually still in the making. So they were still working on the map and just a whole lot more. Right here was the updated alpha area on the Discord we could see right here. This was just the alpha area of the map, this little red outline. This was actually the old map for everybody wondering. As we could see, right down here to the bottom right was the main city part of the map. And then over here, this part was still in the making. The top left, this is kind of where like the mansion neighborhood was. And then over here, we got like the bridge and the city. And here's actually a photo of what alpha testing looked like. Here's everybody just testing out the game for the first time, which is just crazy to see. And then a little bit after that, on July 19th, 2020, the devs were already adding new cars, such as the Toyota FJ Cruiser, the Mazda 3, and the Dodge Charger Hellcat, as well as a full police station we got right here, including the interior. So this was actually the old police station within the game. And then just five days after that, on July, 24th 2020 they had another update and that was including three new cars like the toyota 86 the toyota supra and then the older mark 4 toyota supra so they had a toyota update including these three cars right here so we can already see with just the beginning of the game these devs were grinding they were adding cars literally every week so many new cars were coming to the game and it just didn't stop on july 25th 2020 car Car radios have been added to the game, including the car radio game pack. And now a little bit of time has passed. It is now August 15th, 2020. And that was the day Southwest Florida went from alpha into beta. And the game was now free to play for all players. And now a little bit after that, the game was already going crazy with its growth. Five days later, after the game went from alpha to beta, the game already reached 100k visits. Which made the devs on August 23rd, 2020 release the first ever Twitter code in the game that was just called 100k. And you would get 100k in-game cash 
for only limited time because they hit 100k visits on the game. And now near the end of August, they added the fintech job and the Bentley flying spur. And then from there, the game just did not stop with a very consistent updates which actually led them to hitting 1 million visits on the game. And if you just typed in the money code 1 mil in game, you would get 150k and a free Toyota Camry TRD. So if you see somebody with this car, that means they actually redeemed this code all the way back in September 2020. And then on the day the code expired, September 26, 2020, Southwest Florida added the Nissan 400Z, the Nissan R35 GTR, the Nissan R34 GTR, and then the Nissan R32 GTR. So a big Nissan update, and that was when they announced that the 1 mil code is no longer valid. And just a week after that update, on October 4th, 2020, Southwest Florida added six new cars all from the same brand, which is Tesla. They added the Tesla Roadster, the Tesla Model Y, the Tesla Model 3, the Tesla Model S, the Tesla Model X, and the Tesla Cybertruck. And then on October 11th, 2020, just a week after the last Tesla update, they added even more cars. Just look at this. They added a, the Agera, they added a G-Wagon. It's just insane to see this progress with all these new cards coming every week. And then on November 4th, Southwest Florida tweeted the first leak of the revamp. So as we can see right here, does this place look familiar to you? Well, this is actually right near the bridge near spawn where this little parking lot is with this jump right here. I hope I explained that well. Um, as we can see, there's just a nice Mitsubishi Evo right here parked here. And this is when they actually started slowing down on just car updates and they started focusing on the revamp update. So November 18th is when they actually tweeted photos of the new revamp and this is the map that we currently play on right here. So here's a picture of spawn. Here's actually a picture a little bit down the road from spawn. Here is this parking lot right here. And then here is what the new homes look like. And then on December 12, 2020, big news for Southwest Florida. The revamp was just around the corner and it, to celebrate this huge milestone of theirs, they actually gave us four new cars. And this photo was actually taken at the FinTech parking garage on the new map, but the new map wasn't even out yet. So this was pretty interesting for the community to see. And they added a new cars like the two Broncos we got here. We got the two door one and then the four door one. We got a Toyota Tacoma and then we got this Hummer right here. And then two days later on December 14th, 2020, Southwest Florida gave us even more leaks, like showing us what it would look like to rob stores within the new revamp. And it was just very exciting to see all this new stuff coming to the game. And then the day after that, December 15th, they gave us another huge leak which was actually them leaking what mobile would look like. So this is one actually the mobile slash tablet edition was going to be coming. So now you would be able to play this game on mobile because before in the old map, you weren't able to. So when they did the revamp, that means mobile was also coming to the game. And then on December 18th, 2020 was the day Southwest Florida has finally revamped and now they are into V3. This is just honestly crazy to see the development of this game. So much progress has went through it and they just keep grinding these devs. They put in so much hard work and it is actually paying off. And then on Christmas, they had a Christmas update, including five new cards, as well as a new code called Happy Holidays for 50k in-game cash in a free Porsche 911 R. So here's the Porsche. If this is also really rare, this car. So if you see anybody driving this, that's how you know how they got it. And then here are the five new cars they added. And then on December 31st, which is literally a year ago today, and they had their New Year's event. So they actually might be having a New Year's event later today. And they actually had a fireworks show and they had another new money code called Happy New Year 2021 for 100K in-game cash. The devs were actually releasing a lot of money codes at this time, which I noticed, but this is just honestly insane. But to be honest, from this point on, Southwest Florida just kept getting better and better. They kept getting more players, they kept hitting more achievements, and the game just kept growing and growing. They kept adding so many great additions like bikes, 
houses, map changes, and just a whole lot more. There was honestly so much to cover in this whole entire video, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video of me showing you guys the entire evolution of Southwest Florida. This was tons of fun to make. It took a lot of time to make, so please consider hitting that like and subscribe button as it will help a ton. Should make sure to share this video with your friends, and everybody, let me know how your 2021 was in my Discord server. Link is in the description for anyone to join. Oh, and wait, there is one thing I actually want to confess to you guys. And there were some times where I have clickbaited in the past. I'm actually truly sorry for that because, it, you know, it was just, uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm silly. And I do regret doing that. And for all the people freaking about my December money codes video, I did say that in the thumbnail, it shows that December is a money code. Uh, I didn't mean that December is a working money code. I just meant that like, that's the month. You know what I mean? So I'm sorry if you guys uh, took that the wrong way. I'm not trying to clickbait on that or anything. So yeah. But other than that, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And peace out.